See that? Ancient wood. Now all we need is a few other items. An essence of elements, soul, and a full stack of wood. Ta-da! We get ourselves an ancient infernal wand. Progenitor of all magic said to be the weapon that defeated the first and greatest rune carver. Just a whole bunch of lore jargon. Consumed shards of power. Both the manner in which it is held and used seems to affect its capabilities. Interesting. Well, I don't actually have any shards of power on me. Is there some in this chest? Yes, perfect. Cool. So we'll stick that in our offhand so we can see it consume them. If I right click. Ah. If I left click. Ooh. But then it says this. Both the manner in which it is held and used. Well, used is right and left, but held. Well, what happens if we move it over a slot? <laughs> Look at that. Completely different. We get rid of all this junk and continue to move it over. Two different spells. So depending on which slot in your hotbar here that the Ancient One occupies, determines which types of spells it casts. And as you can see, it's also consuming an Ancient Shard every time we do right or left click. So, how exactly am I doing this? Well, if we turn on hitboxes, you can see pretty simply. I'm using the new interaction entity. As we move, it's generated on us. If we get rid of the wand, it disappears. So, this wand is tied to the new interaction entity and allows us to cast and hold, and allows us to cast a whole array of different spells depending on the slot and whether we right click or left click. And of course can aim. There we go. What about this one? Little poof. That one's a bit better. Engine golems not do iron golems not take full damage. That's a that's an interesting one. That worked out a bit better than I I, I meant it to be. There's a line of lightning. Cool. What about this one? If I could aim. That's just a hit. Just a strong hit, I guess. So it is, it is directional. So for instance, we look on this axis, straight on the little corner axis, slightly. Though I didn't program obviously every single range because that's really hard to do, but it is the best I could, I could make it to accurately depict where the player is. And like I said, depending on which slots, Cool. To be honest, I just wrote these out. I haven't actually tested them, so. Oh, they're fascinating me too. Oh, cherry blossoms. Oh, we good hits. Is this doing anything? I can probably turn off the hitboxes now. Some of them just seem to be damage. We'll need to tinker with their effects a little bit more. Where is one? Well, that's, that's water. That's like a splash. Just does damage, it looks like. Oh, I'm just hitting you, aren't I? Am I out? No, I'm not out of shots. Okay, and you might also notice it's bouncing. So it is an arm stand that I'm summoning. So it hits a wall or collides with a wall. It does black. It does uh, bounce or refract in some manner. It's pretty neat. It means you can sort of bounce shots if you can line it to a corner along with the correct motion. There we go, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I think I've gone through each of the slots. Yeah, perfect. Might as well just check what it does. I think for the most part, the left click is, is damage with some added effect depending on which, like for instance, this should do, what does this do? Fire, perfect. Then this should just apply some of our status effects. I think lightning, lightning is the best. I should probably hang on. Let's get a bucket. So what exactly am I doing? Well, I made a video before about the interaction entity, and of course I've just taken it a little bit further and tied in a few different things. So for one, we're testing both the selected item and our inventory. So for instance, if I use data, get uh, entity, us, then I type in selected item, we can see it brings up the wand. And then of course, if I do inventory, we can detect what slot that wand is in. So for instance, if we look for the wand, it should be near the top, because I think it does your hotbar first. Yeah, 
So we've got slots. Oh, not that one. No, slot two. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So depending on the slot, and then, you know, if we're holding it, we can cast. So there is a little bit of a fun thing you can do. If you do have nine wands, this should theoretically meet all the criteria to cast everything. It should also consume all the shards of power. So each cast now should be consuming nine. It's, again, it's activating all the effects of the wand all at once. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, it's colorful, but it does a bunch of, of random stuff. And I'm just hitting you. Let me cast. There we go. Pretty neat. <laughs> 